of a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. How's it going? We have some ideas that are gonna blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about the other guys. There's an honor code among birders. I've been competing since I was 12, and I've never seen it broken. 12? Wow. So, this win is a big deal for you. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm birder of the year, and your reign is finished. Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Time for your bath. Steph and Ryan the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. <sighs> Love you, Gabe. jacket. I'm guessing boss man must be Jed. What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says hell divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation.
Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. The spring festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Looks like Ducky's getting started earlier than usual today. Your tab is in the six figures, Ducky. Chump change. Let's make it 12. It's going to be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Poor Amelia. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit, seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm so glad you like it. I really do. Ah, uh, yes, the legendary keeper of the high score. Ass. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. I feel terrible for Eleanor, and I don't think it's getting any easier. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Appetizing. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. 
Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Judd pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Sorry, Jed. The people have spoken. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Alabaster Daydreams! That's it! How the hell? Don't worry about it. One small victory that no one will ever know about. Scooby Squad. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually. But we're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So, what are they? Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Ryan. Total smoke show in a flannel. It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Steph. This, Ryan? 
This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the... the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Integrity. Unless it gets in the way of profit, then fuck integrity. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. I can't even imagine going to confessional now. One more thing Typhon's taken from me. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could- It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait, there's something else. I 
I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> 